回は I used a super wide angle lens with a focal length of 10 to 20 millimeters to shoot some photos, mostly of aircraft hangars. I was able to photograph a plane entering the hangar. The motion of a plane entering the hangar is very slow, but I wanted a variety of shots of it going in. So I put the camera on a tripod, raised sensitivity to 2000, and Shot just fast enough to prevent motion blur, 1/30th of a second, 1/40th of a second. I think I was able to capture the twilight sky and the feel of the steel frame inside the hangar in a photograph that takes in the entire plane, from the tip of the wing to the end of the nose. When a plane leaves the hangar, it starts out motionless, which is when I photographed it. So I took my shots with sensitivity set to 100 and the camera on a tripod with the body plumb and level. Because there are places on the walls of the hangar that are in deep shadow, if I used just those settings, the difference between these shadows and the highlights on the plane would be so great that they would be just black and white. This is why, in order to create some dynamic range, I tried applying active de-lighting to bring out the shadows on the walls of the hangar. I think active de-lighting can be used very effectively to create seamless gradations with an even feel. This time I concentrated on hangers, but this is a very wide lens that I think can be used to create dynamic compositions when shooting landscapes. The lens gives a sense of breadth and creates a seamless connection between the subject in the foreground and the background, letting you emphasize depth. This ability to express breadth and depth is the true charm of super wide-angle lenses. This photo was taken close to the minimum focus distance. The flower is in very clear focus, while the pond in the background is beautifully blurred for a photo that I think gives a profound sense of depth. I think cityscapes may be one area in which the unique characteristics of this super wide-angle lens can be put to good use. This photo is of Shinjuku at night. In photos taken with super wide-angle lenses, buildings tend to narrow toward the top, but you can straighten them using the perspective control option in the retouch menu. I found it convenient to be able to use the camera to readily retouch pictures on the spot. Operation is simple and the effect can be adjusted using the multi-selector. I think this feature can be used for photographs that beautifully capture a building's lines. The 10 to 20 millimeter lens is extremely compact and I found it easy to take photos with the camera and lens pointed wherever I please. I found resolution throughout the frame to be very high, and I think that you'll get beautiful photos no matter what your subject is.